Hey, Don here. Well, guess what? We got snow in Hazel, Texas today. So I'm going to go outside and make a little video. Let me look at my audio. Hello, check. Hello. Going outside and make a little video. Let's see. I think it'll be alright. It seemed alright last time. I'm kind of worried about it being too too loud. Check one. Check two. Hello, check. Hello, check. Yeah, let's leave it like that, I think. Okay. So, I'm not used to using a laptop. This is my la a laptop, so Dell 1525. It's the only thing I got with a half decent camera. I don't have a real camera. So, I'm going to carry it backwards. I won't be able to see what I'm shooting. And as long as the battery stands up, though. Now, when I look over the front, I can't see. But I imagine if I kind of sit still here. Move slow. Should be alright. Let's see. i got to get a way to... I guess I'll leave the glasses on. No, I want the glasses off. So that... I can see. I need them to see the laptop and read stuff on it, but I don't need them to walk around. Okay, let's shut this door to the garage and try not to fall as we're getting down here. Okay. Got my little headset with the earphones on. Oh, there goes the bird. With the earphones on because I wish I, I can't. I'm not leaving my laptop outside, but if I could. I'd set it over there on the other porch and uh, you can watch the traffic go by on Highway 199 here in Hazel, Texas. Not moving too fast. Some of them are, some of them aren't. Don't imagine you can see them too good. And I'm shaking. I can tell I'm shaking this thing. But uh, there goes some birds up in the sky. Our house is on a bit of a hill compared to, well, there's, it's almost like a little, that was, I imagine before they built these houses, that was a dry wash creek down there, because that's what it looks like when it rains around here. So I'm going to walk around to the front now. Well, when that breeze blows, you can uh, feel it. And uh, we'll just, uh, well, I might put my hood up. I came out here just about 34, oh, I could have been an hour ago now, I don't know, by the time I got all this ready, here's my old blazer, and uh, I think I'll go, I don't, I love untracked snow, I don't see it a lot here in Texas, so I'm going to kind of stay in my tracks that I've made before, I'm trying not to make, I didn't go out in the yard or anything, sun's coming up, I imagine it's washing out the video big time. So I'm going to get over here. This is where I usually do is just stand on the porch and take pictures. And uh, I'm not talking to myself. If this video didn't work, I'd be <laughs> pain in the butt, wouldn't it? You know, I'm going to see if I can. Yeah, I know. It's getting to be terrible video. I'm actually usually a pretty good videographer, but I've never only done this once or twice with the... It's different when you can't see what you're taping. You don't realize what you should be. Well, I suppose I could set it down here. I'm going to set it down. I want to put my hoodie on. My jacket has a built-in hoodie. And I need it right now. There wasn't any breeze earlier. These pockets. I have to put the gloves in the pocket so that I can get the thing. I can't do it with the gloves on. I'm not wearing regular gloves. I'm wearing, uh, should have put this on before I came out. My heck. Okay. Having all kinds of difficulties. My head's set back. The wires are getting stiffer. They're cold. Making lots of noise now, huh? Okay. Uh, 
these things are good for keeping my ears warm like I thought they would be and when you're in the house I really don't ever use this headset because it squeezes my ears and hurts them when you're out messing around and it's cold you really don't seem to care so much about that and my hand earlier there wasn't any breeze really and I can't see anything moving but uh, It feels breezier. I can feel it. And that makes it even colder. But these old gloves, these are some some uh, rubberized work gloves. I wore them the other day out here in between the last snow last week because my tire on my blazer went down during that ice and that cold and I had to sit there and look at it that tire up there had to look at it for the flat for three or four days and didn't like that there's a little Saturn it's covered up and uh, I'm gonna walk out here in the street I gotta be careful walk out here where I did last time and then I'll uh, walk over here across the street so that I can see my house an old van that I don't that I haven't uh, drove much and you still need to do it's a my project but uh, anyway this side you can I'm sure you can see much better without the sun shining in the camera the front's not much to look at I don't think but uh, I think I'll go straight through here, hit it back into the backyard, see some uh, cat tracks, oops, lid shut, cat tracks probably, okay, I'm going to turn this around and see if I can tell that it's still making video, yeah I can see myself, it kind of, the screen goes dim when it's uh, on battery. I hardly ever use this on battery, but uh, it seems when I have it seems to last long enough. But I usually don't ever, I don't guess I've ever made a video of my own house and yard. But we got, see out there where I was walking and where I'm walking here, it's about, I guess, two, three inches. Last time we got about two, two, four or six inches. I didn't feel good that day and I didn't get out and make a video. I made a few pictures and that's all from the porch. But all this sprigs and stuff that's sticking up, you couldn't see really hardly any of it last time. So, it, it, you know, it, it was a lot deeper last time. And there was more on the trees. I never come around, I never get out and walk around in it anymore. It's unusual for me to do this. But it just seemed fun. I mean, I missed the first one, kind of. I took a few pictures, but that's it. But see, this is my other porch. It's a little bitty porch. But, uh, if you could put the laptop, I'm looking at the house to see if I can lean on it. I get still. If I could put the laptop out here on the porch, <laughs> then I could have me a weather cam. But I ain't gonna do that. I don't want anything to happen to the laptop. Those icicles up there, I don't think you can see them if they start drifting. See, it would be covered. And there might be something I'm looking, put the camera back out for something worth looking at. I was thinking of hanging a microphone up under there. And I might do that. Oh, it's dripping right now. Better move. I, uh, get up here on the porch. But the, uh, yeah, those, those icicles right there are dripping at me. About to drip in the keyboard of the laptop. Anyway, I could set it in the house and run a microphone outside. You can see the cars are moving pretty good now. This is a Hazel, Texas, one nine, Highway 199. Out there you're looking at. And uh, that's what I, was, what I was talking about there. I was thinking, kind of neat to make a weather cam for everybody to see what the highway's going to be like, those people that live out. You know, uh, 
I'm about two miles before you get to Hazel if you're coming from Fort Worth. So everybody from the, here to Springtown, people drive into work from Springtown and further, you know, Jacksboro. Be nice if there was a little camera for them to see what the road's going to be like. But the only thing I could do is set it in the house and it'd be looking through the screen and the blinds that I can't, their blinds are built into the door. So, uh, I don't know, I might do that, we'll see. I was thinking about putting it on YouTube Live, you know, I've made one or two test videos on there. But uh, I guess I'm mostly doing the uh, sky, the way I was holding that. I'm glad I got my gloves on, but my hands are getting cold. I need, uh, need my really thick furry gloves on right now. I thought I might be able to, uh, well I know, I, if these rubberized thing here makes me be able to hang on the laptop better, that's for sure. But, uh, look at a rose bush. It's a pretty tough rose bush. All these last several years, it'll get, it'll, it'll get, see you got green leaves on it. It, it. The weather's so wet, wild, it really never, it stays green most of the year now. And then it'll get froze and snowed and everything over and over. But, uh, I want to go back. I'm, my hands are hurting now. But anyway, these gloves are good for hanging on, but they're not as warm as I thought they'd be. They were fine the other day when I was, I was out here in about 45 degree weather. But uh, this is 24 degree weather, so it's different. So they got, uh, they're vented pretty well. They're, you can try, I've tried wearing them in the summer for work gloves and make, make hands sweat in the summer. And in the cool weather they're all right. They were cheap, got them at, went to, Everybody knows about Harbor Freight, but I've actually never been out there. But once or twice in the last 20 years, and I went out there last summer and actually bought a few things. But, uh, gloves and stuff. I did end up buying a grinder for about for $13. And then they put it on sale for 11 or $12 right after that. <laughs> I watched it. It was, you know, $20 or something and went down. Let's turn this around. This time I'll walk down the middle of the street. But, uh, anyway, that's neither here nor there, as they say. Oh, yeah, truck's covered in ice before, before the snow. That's, you can see the road where somebody drove. You can see there's a lot of ice up under, up under that, uh, snow and it's not real thick right here it's thicker up in the yard it usually is but these are my tracks nobody else has been out here but me today and uh <coughs> there's my yard and house and you can see ice pretty thick on the windows of the cars trucks And it's pretty thick under my feet here. So, yeah, it's, I can see why people are having trouble on the news out there. Anywhere where they hadn't been. Oops, going back around. Give this another shot with the sun. I'm sure it won't work. It's hard to remember your, this laptop's actually a camera. Uh, anyway. We're going to go around back to the other side and uh, go in and see if this video worked. I hope it did. You never know when you can't tell what's going on, if it's working or not. But this is the other little porch. And uh, I guess you can see the traffic about the same from here, but I'm not can't leave the back door open. I could set this inside of the garage with the back door open, but then the washer's right there. And guess what? It would do the freeze the water pump and freeze the water lines. We keep a heater over there by the washer just so that won't happen, so it can't leave the door open. So I don't know. If I could afford it, I'd buy me some outside cameras, some I guess security cameras, and set them up just. Even for security, but also just for stuff like this. I think it'd be kind of neat to have a weather cam. Well, I hope this thing didn't... Uh, well, I see the camera light on, so you might see me. But I cannot see my screen. 
So, I guess that means I'm gonna set this on the washer. I guess that means. Oh yeah, it still seems to be working. Gotta kick some of this snow off my feet. Last time I came back, I went out the front door and came back in the front door, and I had to take my shoes off at the front door, and no place to set. This time, I do. But let's uh, let's turn this camera off and uh, go over there and change my shoes back to my hassy shoes you see. All right, this is done and that's my snow video for today I was gonna say I forgot the date let's see what is the date fifth yeah so this is uh 03 05 2015 most of you know what today is don't you okay thanks bye bye